The new starts in other 4.0 patches drop for Evo Cardi. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. Um, Stars and Alpha uh, 4.0 just dropped into Evo Cardi. Again, a new um, update. This time around, there's a few changes. Okay, so this one, it says here, this current build will focus on 4.0 with and include a 4dgs server mesh starting with 350 380 player counts per shard and two servers per solar system so this is a lot more beefier than the last one the last one was 4 dgs's and uh 250 players okay so and i think one server per solar system i think um but uh this one seems like a a more beefy configuration so i'm really curious to see how the playthrough is for some of the streamers okay so all right, so let's just get straight into some of the changes they have for this build. All right, so it says here, um, since the previous uh, test, they made a few updates here. It says, it says there's several further physics and memory server performance improvements. They fixed several client server and hybrid crashes. They made further performance improvements for planetary streaming on the GPU and large entity count performance. They made further steps into service refactor for moving the emissions and corpse markers to the service instead of the DGS authority. Interesting. Hopefully that improves performance. They made further AI locomotion optimizations and around consensus zones. They made further player animation network improvements. It says here weapon that charge should have their charge action queued. They've uh, made a few fixes here. They fixed an issue where pyro and stanton jump gates won't open. They fixed an issue where the quantum fuel consumption equal across ships. They fixed an issue where ESP dampening can be hacked. They fixed an issue where water on Clio has a stripping effect when flying nearby with Vulcan enabled. They fixed an issue where AI bullets are shooting in different directions than where they're aiming. They fixed an issue where interacting with the ore deposit terminal in the prison mines makes the player walk backwards out of range of the terminal. They fixed an issue where sub mesh names for engine thrusters glows not working. They fixed an issue where some salvage contracts take the player to locations that do not generate a salvage claim. They fixed an issue where freight manager lets the user move more SCU to the elevator than it can hold by using move to elevator button. They fix an issue where the Hercules turret does not fire when set to stagger fire. Interesting. It says here for tonight's build will fully recommend staying in Stanton system due to large performance issues around pyro really interesting stuff before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one